Hello, all you big, beautiful brains out there. Today, we're going to talk about historical perspectives on psychological disorders. Before we get started, take a minute to subscribe to Psy vs. Psy. Help out your friendly neighborhood psychologist while I tell you all about some of the perceptions people throughout history had about psychological disorders. And when I say historical, I mean ancient history. In our early days as humans, when people thought about psychological disorders, they thought of it more as a supernatural thing something that was just beyond what we as humans could understand. In ancient Mesopotamia, it was considered the hand of God, and in ancient Egypt, they more tried to interpret the illness as the will of the gods. In ancient India, the prevailing thought was that mental illness was due more to an imbalance of forces. So, the prevailing thought for most of human history is that there was just nothing you could do. Psychological disorders, or differences, just couldn't be understood. This led to some pretty weird incidences. For example, in the 12th century, there were multiple instances throughout Europe of what was called dancing mania, where entire communities would dance until they absolutely exhausted themselves and people actually died. It was kind of a mass delusion. People thought it could happen, so it did. While there are some documents that try to show assisting those with psychological disorders, really this idea of psychological disorders that can not be monitored, controlled, or helped continued right up until the Enlightenment in the 17th century. Once the scientific revolution began, physicians started embracing a more biological approach to psychological disorders. Eventually, doctors from all over the world started ascribing many psychological disorders to biological differences in your brain, your genetics, and from chemical imbalances. This meant that they began to think all mental disorders were highly heritable. Now, heritable is a statistical term that just means how much variation in a trait can be attributed to genetics. In some cases, they were right. We now know that some disorders, like schizophrenia, are highly heritable. However, saying that all psychological disorders are heritable can lead to a huge misinterpretation. Since doctors taught that all psychological disorders and differences stemmed from unchangeable biological mechanisms, they thought there was no way to help individuals with mental disorders. Instead, they switched to merely behavior containment, meaning that they would lock these individuals away in asylums to separate them from the general population. This led to horrible mistreatment of patients by those they were supposed to be able to trust the most. And things stayed like this really up until the 20th century with the advent of psychoanalysis. If you want to know more about current models of treatment, make sure you subscribe to Psy vs. Psy so you can get all of our other videos and you can learn all about the science of psychology. Until next time, keep thinking, and I'll see y'all later. Bye! So once again, I cannot help but notice I'm stuck with the super heavy topic where it's very hard to write a joke for the end and I would love to talk to the person that is in charge of assigning the topics, but that person is me, so.